A stunning news coming out from Libya's foreign minister is saying that they've announced a ceasefire in their conflict with the rebels. The foreign minister also saying that the government is prepared to hold talks with the rebels, the opposition. That announcement follows a U.N. Security Council vote to authorize military airstrikes on government forces. Those government forces have been advancing on rebel positions uh, in the east of the country and are now threatening Benghazi. Those are pro Gaddafi forces, but the U.N. voting to authorize military airstrikes, and that might have been enough to get the foreign to get the foreign minister to get the Libyan government to say that they're going to start the ceasefire. Alara Satrakian has more uh, in Dubai. Lara. Betty, oil prices falling, U.S. futures rising on the news, and this is a potential game changer for those companies doing business with Libya and anyone looking at oil. Why? Well, of course, the prospect that this could stave off a military confrontation between international powers and Libya, but it also buys Gaddafi time, and that means that he could potentially negotiate with the opposition, or he could use that time to further his position, gain more ground, make it harder for any future intervention from the international community to be effective. Time has been cliche of the essence here, because when we talk to analysts and ask them whether these strikes could even work, they say we would know within 48 hours, because that's the window of opportunity here. So as the clock ticks, we wait to hear how the opposition is going to respond, whether the U.N. Security Council is convinced by this, and really how this changes the game. If Gaddafi does have the upper hand, these companies we've been talking about all morning, Repsol, Eni, Total, they had very big positions in Libya, a big hand in what had been 1.6 million barrels per day coming out of the country before this conflict. Uh, they all could be at risk, expulsion risk to be specific. Gaddafi saying he may kick Western companies out.